All right, so now let's go ahead and build our login page. And uh, I'm going to go back a folder and right click on admin, choose new file, and we're going to call this login.php. And let's go ahead and we're going to take everything from index and put it in here as well. So let's copy all this. Go over to login. Control V for paste. And we're not going to need all of the config stuff. We're going to want the database connection more than anything for this page. But uh, some of the stuff that's in the config or will end up being in the config, we don't even really need anybody having access to that unless they're logged in anyway. So what I actually want to do is I want to create a different file to hold our database connection. So back out of admin if you're still in admin and open up config on the front end. And let's open up setup.php. And we're going to cut this out. So let's highlight this and do cut. And let's right click on the config folder and do new file. And we'll just call this connection. PHP and go ahead and put some PHP tags in and then control V for paste and save this and uh, as I mentioned uh, earlier in the videos this file will end up being uh, moved uh, but you know later on uh, but for now, we'll keep it in here. And we're actually not going to copy this file and put it in the admin. We're going to go ahead and use this file for the connection for both the admin and the front end. Uh, but really quick, let's pop back over to the uh, setup. And we need to replace this with an include. So config slash connection.php close that off and we'll go ahead and make a comment and let's go ahead and copy this really quick and then go ahead and minimize this config folder so we don't get confused open up admin open up that config folder open up that setup.php and remove this and do paste. However, this time we actually need to go back a folder. So we need to do dot dot and then a slash. So this way, if we for any reason need to change the username or the database name or whatever, we only have to do that in one spot. We don't have to worry about doing it in both places. So save that, but then let's also highlight this and make a copy of this and head over to our login.php and uh, let's go ahead and remove this include for setup and just paste our database connection right here and save that and uh, make sure you saved your uh, front end setup too and let's go ahead and get these out of here so we don't get confused with the uh, file names with the same name so now that we've got that set up, let's go down here into our kind of content area and we'll change this heading to login. Um, let's go ahead and comment out the navigation for now. We may take that out completely, but we don't want that there. We don't want them being able to go anywhere. Um, footer can stay. Debug widget, let's go ahead and comment that out as well. So, you know, we, we really don't want them, anybody having access to anything we don't really want them to have access to. So I'll save that and take a look at what we're looking at now. Um, and we need to type in login.php on there. So here's our login. Um, oh, 
our footer because we're using those constants um, for the uh, template folder. Let's go ahead and just comment out our footer as well. And uh, maybe do something to make that work later on down the road. Uh, but for now, it's not important. Now what we need to do is we need to build a form. So let's take a look at how Bootstrap does it. So we'll hop over to Bootstrap. And again, I know I've already pointed this out, but they did change their uh, layout a little bit. Um, and I believe we need to go to Components. Nope, CSS. And click on Forms. And here you go. And they've actually got a pretty good example here that uh, has everything we need. And uh, we'll just get rid of this file input. Well, let's just go ahead and copy this here. And then we'll, we'll go over it. So underneath our header here, Go ahead and paste that. Tab that out. Now they're actually using a different tab number than we are. Looks like they're tabbing at two spaces. Um, so I might reformat this. Uh, but for now, let's take a look at what we've got here. We don't want the uh, file input. We're not going to need that because we're just logging in. So we can get rid of that whole div. And uh, the checkbox, we might use that for like uh, remember me or something. But for now, let's just go ahead and comment it out. So we'll do an HTML comment that starts up on 42 and then ends on 48. And uh, let's go ahead and save and take a look at this. There you go. So Bootstrap makes a pretty slick looking uh, login. Now we can do some further uh, customization to make this look better. Um, right off the bat, let's go ahead and just, uh, I know we, we took it out, but uh, let's go ahead and put in the uh, container so we can put this in the center. So div class container. Close that, and we'll take this closing div here and cut that out, and we'll put it right above the uh, end wrap. And we'll go ahead and tab this out. Save that. And refresh. So that's a little better, and we'll, we'll do a little more to it here in, in a minute. 